And hello everyone, welcome back to Soma. As always, we are gaming by Gaslight. Last time we traversed the bottom of hell, basically, the depths of the ocean, had to deal with all the friendly sea life, made it into Tau, had to deal with the welcoming wagon, and now we're in this friendly place. We're gonna close this door behind us, because we don't want anyone anyone bothering us, yes. Alright, what's uh what's going on in here? Hi there. Hi there, hello. Hey, nice to see you. Anything? Lots of toothpaste? I wonder what that says. That's some kind of... Asian script, though I don't know enough to be able to tell you if that's like Chinese, Japanese, Korean... Or, you know, anything else. I don't know enough, I'm afraid. I just do. It says critical system failure. Oh, what? What? Ross, is that you again? Are you bothering me? Oh my god! You look like some kind of giant... Whoa. Like robot space cockroach. Oh, oh my god! Um... Um... Yeah... That doesn't look right. We're, um... We're gonna leave this room now. And we're never gonna come back inside it. We, there's nothing in there. We don't want to see it. Okay, good, good. Everyone happy with that? Hello? Hello? Let's see. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Hello there. Ah, but we can read your mind. No, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. Can we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Not expected to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark! No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value, you know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Oh, man. Well, that's not good. No incoming phone calls. I guess that's a... Uh... Son? Daughter? Ah. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, someone liked Catherine. Wait, is this... Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. What the fuck did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life... I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that guy over there is Ian and this is Sarah? If I'm understanding this right, it's kind of hard to tell. Hello? Ooh, what's this? Feta, everything went well. All of the crew scanned and banked in the Ark, loading the shuttle to Omicron, leaving as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, Eames and her crew welcome us with open arms. Scans went well, should have most of them. Tau. We found five, surrounding, uh, five surviving members of Tau. They have been stranded here for months without radio contact or proper food. You managed to scan them all, though I suspect their arrival will cause some trouble inside the Ark as they feel abandoned by Omicron. I just hope everyone will be able to forgive each other. Me too. Shit went down. We couldn't launch. Going back to Tau to figure it out. Well, that ain't good. Now I'm 
You're in something slapping around out there again. That's never nice. Good old bathroom. Nope. Someone didn't want to see their face. I wonder if, uh, incidentally, that also, uh, was for, like, convenience reasons. Since that way they don't have to make another, like, reflection graphic for, uh, like, Simon in the different suit. Alright, let's have a listen. O offline, offline, offline. Offline, 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 offline. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, there's nothing on the surface. Okay. And a lot of attempts from old Herbie here. Door locks. Um. Oh. There is a password on that. Fi status. Access tunnels. No feedback, so the tunnels only go partway there. Oh, and what's this? Some kind of secret side door thing. Fi proper. Everything is okay. That's good. Omega. The gun is ready. Okay. Hello. Uh, minor structural damage, communications recovered, cross-site radio failing, Lumar probes are losing the link because the fish keep eating them, Tau can't retrieve the climber, we visited by Woolcheck down in Holland, evacuation of Tau, we're all leaving, <laughs> swarmed by monsters, no radio, we are fucked. Well said, whoever wrote, th wait, who wrote this? Uh, it does say, Paul, maybe, something? Oh no, that just says post impact notes. Never mind. Okay, so. Well, we could go down there, but I don't think we will. Keep your pants on, Ross. Or should I say, Kafulu Ross? Since you have all the weird little tentacly wentily thingies. As long as they are, in fact, tentacles, not genticles, that would be awkward. Actually, that would be... You're different. Oh my god. It's an actual it's human. Me. Hey there, boss. Ooh, a picture. <laughs> nice suit. Used to have one just like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's have a chat, shall we? human. Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh, I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? Yep. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. I'll tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Yes. Thank you. Can I do you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Jeez. If I knew you'd come, I would clean this place up a little bit. Eh. I mean, I'm the robot you came by. Cancer's already ruined. to get it. this over with. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a razor. 
Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? This feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Good luck, Simon. Knock it out of the park. Be careful. Knock it out of the park. Okay. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Is this really what we want to do? I mean, I don't know how I feel about su the concept of suicide and euthanasia, but I mean, if she's dying anyway, <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be better to let her die with dignity and peace? Ooh boy. I mean, like, look how weak her pulse is. Alright. Alright, Sarah. Would you stay with me, please? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere, It won't Sarah. be long now. Just... Please, just stay. I'm in no rush. It's okay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. Yeah. We really still was, Sarah. To turn 30. Hooray. <laughs> I had to keep it up. Is this what you call food? You should get a guy at home. Three points. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Have you ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. I'd like to go someday. You Never been. At least when you get out of the city. Of course. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. And Greenland's practically or next... Rather, it was a great place. It's practically next Before door to Canada. It ended at all. Next to Canada, so, I mean, it's just a hop across. You know what? Really? I prefer it this way. Well, and Greenland's like next door neighbors to Canada. I it like to pay thoughts. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. My colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Kath. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm yeah. here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there to the stars. I will, Sarah. I promise. You fought the good fight, but now it's time to rest. All right. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. That's good, I guess. Got to keep your thoughts private. What's going on here? No. Oh. Okay. Door locks. Oh. What? Okay. Ooh, corrupted data. Oh. Okay, for a look at common chemicals, keep you alive in emergency situations, manual on how to. Oh my. Oh, last accessed. Oh man. Room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left it. Wait, what? Methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been instructed and left Delta. Catherine Chung. Hmm. Interesting. Hello? Actually, this guy you can tell is the captain. Look at that epic beard and sort of captain y eyes. This guy was, I guess, the tech guy? <laughs> he was a doctor. 
and ooh, I'm pretty sure this is Catherine, and her image has been all. Of course, watch the big plot twist is that there's actually nothing suspicious about Catherine. They're just trying to get us all psyched up. Compact freight lift. Ooh, can I use this? Ding, 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 ding. Mine, it's not like I can climb down this ladder. Okay. And send it down to the dive room. We'll be right there. Whee! Ooh. But first, I want to go look at... Oh, this is Ross's room. Interesting. There's, uh, not really anything in here. What's this? The Evil Genius by Rene Descartes. Why do I know this name? I mean, he was a French philosopher, but I forget what his uh, whole shtick was about. Bunch of mathematical stuffs. Okay, okay. Ooh, a bobblehead. Ross, was, were you keeping a bobblehead of yourself? Jeez. Someone had a high opinion of themselves. Okay, let's uh, screw it. Too much effort. Journal, huh? So hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Feta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. Oh, so Ross was really close to the WoW. The monsters at the WoW has facilitated. Ambushed forced back to Tau. Oh my. Claire's in the infirmary. Coatsy made a run for it. Uh, going inside has gone dangerous. She came back and had some crumbs. Oh my. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from FETA telling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Paphos 2. Interesting. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. Very foul mood, difficult to get any straight answers. One thing was very important. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure out this Ark business. They had scheduled for the climber to pick them up. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckier Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. We'll finally get to warn Dow and Sarang about the critical situation in Site Alpha. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. You have the no pattern idea. has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Tisk tisk, you don't realize what you did. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. I see. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. Is that so? The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. And as is typical, mankind brings about their own demise. What's this? Uncalibrated gel. Oh, that is an awesome picture of what appears to be the Earth or some other planet. It almost looks like something is exploding out of it. Wait, what's all this? Site Alpha is next to the WoW core. Ooh. Ooh. 
Well, let's move on, shall we? It's time to keep going. We Okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Flushing, are we? Excellent. Bum -de -bum -de -bum -de -bum. Wait a minute. I saw... Oh. It's just that. Now what? Alright. Come on. Chop, chop. Okay, okay. Attach, config. No configuration. Alright, no configuration. Bloop. Alright. Nope. And fill her up. Now what's the problem? What do you mean? Flood mechanism. Oh. Unable to equalize the pressure. Oh. Oh my. And oh boy. Here's the big one. What did I tell you? Alright, so we're off to deal with the Ark. Or something. But we must also destroy the WoW. Also, if there's one thing to learn from this, it's that sci-fi movies have it all wrong. If you give your artificial intelligence controlling all the life support and everything, if you give... if you actually give it a personality, then it's more likely to understand you and emphasize with you. If you don't give it a personality and just have it operating on random protocols, then it... because machines... Actually, that's the interesting thing about machines is they have no room to interpret anything. You give them an instruction and they will carry it out as best as they can understand it. Because remember, machines never make mistakes. Everything they do is done on purpose. If, it, if the machine doesn't do what you want it to do, it's because the programmer screwed up. Yes. Keep that in mind. So, uh, are you, uh... I'm gonna just assume the arc is following. Ark. Oh, hell. Space Cthulhu? No, I guess I have to go through here. Goodbye, Ark. I'll, uh, <laughs> leave you to do your thing. I'm gonna crawl through this tunnel that got here inexplicably. It seems to have some robot cancer growing inside it. You know, it looks like someone or something dug this tunnel. And that kind of disturbed... Ooh. We're outside again. I do not like this development. I do not like this development at all. We're gonna run. Maybe turning the lights on isn't a good idea. Then again, this is a pretty deep little crevice, so hopefully none of the monster fish can get us. But then again, squids don't have bones. They could squish themselves in here. Dr. Ross, is that you? Hello. Look at all these big old tendrils of robot cancer. This is not good. So, this is Site Alpha, eh? Yep. Up she goes. And, uh, there's not really any reason to go in there, so up she goes, up she goes. And down we go into the depths of Alpha. Where we discover the things that man made that man should have never, ever, ever involved itself in. For if H.P. Lovecraft has taught us anything, it's that there are some things man is better off leaving alone. But then again, if man did that, we wouldn't have any cool stories about horrible things going wrong. 
It's the danger of human endeavor, really, is that sooner or later we'll go too far and <laughs> we'll figure out things and come across things that are scary and possibly dangerous. Level 7. Now at least it's not level 5. There's some weird thing. I can't see you. Just tell me what you want. I need you to stop the world. Okay. What? How? The enslaved protein solution around your suit is the use for which the power will have itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to the Omicron, I tried to tell you to make the toxin that would make the wow with them. But they didn't understand. They went inside my cabinet and it was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha, the fountainhead of the misery we created. This toxin inside of me can kill the wild all together. Okay. I'm kind of suspicious. So, I guess that's why everyone's heads. Broke. What the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint. And the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. You know, there is a need it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. I don't know if I like that. We could just go through this door. Right? You can't leave. We're not done. Alright, alright. I will poison this for you. Come on. I... Do it. So help me God. Ross, if you're lying, and this thing, like, eats me or something. Alright, here goes. Oh, dear. Oh, my God, that's an eyeball. Oh, no, no. Ew. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Ew. Wait. God, it ate my hand. Please, I did what you wanted. You did good, Simon. But you can't leave. The only way to make sure the wild stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't no. worry. We'll make it quick. You son of a... What in the holy hell just happened? Oh dear. Well, that's not good. So long, everyone. See you in the next episode.